Someone over the summer asked me how I do my weed guards for my bass flies. I'm going to show you now. I've got my Regal Vice. It's set inside of my tie wheel. I'm going to take a Fly Shack brand bass hook, put it in my Regal Vice. I'm going to take just generic monofilament from like Walmart. Thickest I can get, poundage and diameter. It's 50 pounds, 0 0.029 diameter. Going to use some Orvis bass thread and just start my thread. I took two pieces of monofilament. This one I'm going to lay down and wrap it very tightly along the outside of the shaft. And I'm going to go all the way down the bend a bit. Hit it with some super glue if you want. I'm going to take my other strand, get my thread back up, lay it down parallel to the shank, and again, start those wraps. Nice tight wraps, you know, pressure on each one, because if this falls out, you no longer have a weedless fly. Okay. We'll end about right there. And now just imagine I spend 10 minutes tying some crazy bass fly. The bass fly is done. We're going to take these and bring them around up here. Let me advance my thread. Advance it right there. Bunch of very tight, strong wraps. Cut. Bring this up again. Tight wraps. This is where it's going to come off of your fly if it's going to fail. If you look here in my palm, I am not letting go of that bobbin. Notice how each wrap I'm getting closer and closer in, ensuring tight wraps. Going to hit that. I'm going to knot my fly a couple times, half hitch, cut my thread. And I'm going to hit that last bit of knottage with some Loon Fly Tires Zement. And after that, I'll probably hit it with some kind of ultraviolet curing stuff. Pop it out. There you go. You've got a nice uh, weed guard on your fly. Very simple to do. Very easy on the budget. I did that in one take. Not too bad, folks. Weed guards. Boom, boom, boom.